Hey there, tech friends. Welcome to this special review of the mind-blowing MetaConnect 2023 event from this last week. We had some amazing announcements this week at MetaConnect. We got the opportunity to hear from Zuck and boy, oh boy, it is a sight to behold. It feels like we're jumping directly into a sci-fi movie, like my own personal guilty pleasure movie, Demolition Man. If you haven't had a chance to check that one out, it's campy and it's totally worth your time. But anyway, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced the dawn of a new era in the metaverse with a 40% slimmer device, spatial mapping pass through unlike anything we've seen before. They're really going hard to compete with the Apple Vision Pro, and you can order this device right now, which on October 10th is its actual launch date, unlike Apple, which we're still kind of up in the air when we're going to be able to get our hands on their device. It really is a whole new world waiting to be explored from the announcements that have been made. Quest 3 is the first mainstream mixed reality headset. It understands your space so you can play with the world around you. Any flat surface can become a virtual gaming board. It has quite literally 10 times the number of pixels compared to the Quest 2. It automatically maps the space that you're in with two dedicated color camera sensors and depth sensors. So as Zuck told us, if you picked up a digital ball and you threw it at a physical wall, it would bounce off of it. How cool is that? So if you're playing a game like Super Hot and someone is shooting at you, you can duck behind your physical couch or behind a pillar in the living room. This, to me, also seems like the future of entertainment. With the ability to drop a big digital screen anywhere that you are, this could potentially be the end of standardized TVs as we know it. With nearly everyone having cut the cable cords over the last few years, it's pretty cool to see how with this device you could just make a TV-sized digital screen where a TV once was meticulously mounted on the wall, and you could just wear a headset and move from one room to another and move your TV screen with you, which will be great for bathroom breaks when a close football game or other sporting event is going on. So you never have to miss that game-changing play really ever again. Augments is another interesting feature from the announcements, which are persistent, spatially anchored digital objects. Like in Harry Potter, our world, the pictures can now move. They're human gifs or gifs. I don't know which one it is. One's a peanut butter and one is an endless TikTok dance. But it's yet another thing that might move from the tradition to the interactive in our pictures of friends and loved ones. I think it would be really cool to have a picture from a baby shower that can show the balloon popping to reveal the couple having a baby girl rather than the, nor the normality that we see today when you take an action shot of holding a pin close to the balloon. And it certainly feels like this is the next TikTok or something like that. Xbox is also coming to the MetaQuest 3 in December as well. Minecraft, Elder Scrolls, hundreds of uh, games that will be available at the onset. It's making yet another really cool feature for this leading and affordable headset. The MetaQuest 3 really looks to be taking the next level in gaming with enhanced graphics, lightning fast processing, and of course they have a library of insanely cool looking games. It's a VR headset that will start the transition of people who simply prefer the life in the VR world instead of the real one like we've seen in Ready Player One, but now we have the mixed reality. Quest, uh, the MetaQuest 3 is going to start shipping on October 10th, and you can order it today for $499. The Quest 3 can understand your space, like I was saying before, so there's really no need to set up those pesky boundaries as we were seeing on the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro. It understands the furnitures and the walls and the other boundaries. It's really a totally standalone headset, so there's no wires, there's no battery pack, there's no console that you have to plug it into. It's a totally new display system as well. They've updated the pancake lenses, giving a 30% increase in resolution, and that's what's making it 40% smaller and thinner than what we saw in the Quest 2. It's got much better weight distribution as well. The controllers for the MetaQuest 3 also got a big upgrade too. So there's no more tracking ring. It's more like an extension of your hand. You can put down the controllers too, and the hand tracking has been immensely improved with their new direct touch system. So you can interact the same way that you would with the touch screen. 
A hundred new upgraded titles are also coming this year to the Quest 3, and half of them will show mixed reality features. And that's a pretty huge upgrade. And for the kids out there, yes, there is going to be Roblox. So parents, I apologize for all the money that's going to be quickly dumped down the drain for Robux. A new system coming out too called Quest Plus is here to that gives you two hand-picked games per month. And if you do purchase the 512 gigabyte Quest 3 headset, you get six months of free of that subscription. Another thing that they mentioned was image generation models that are also coming to Meta. They call them Expressive Media Universe, or EMU for short, because they like to stick with an animal theme. And it's an interesting new feature. You basically type in what you want, and within five seconds, an image is generated. So say you wanted to have an elephant tap dancing on an iceberg. Within a few seconds, an image would automatically be generated using AI. Those can also be utilized in chats as customized stickers. So there's no real need to search the database on your phone for the right emoji or the right sticker. This will easily replace that with this feature that's also coming to Instagram here in October. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about Meta AI as well, which was another announcement. It's basically your basic assistant. You can talk to it like a person, you can invoke Meta AI in any chat, and they've been experimenting with ones that are a little bit more fun. The one that they showed us was Max, the sous chef, who can help you come up with a recipe. You can ask a personal editor AI to help you write a keynote speech. And in a role-playing game, you can drop a dungeon master into one of your chats. And the example that they gave us was Snoop Dogg telling us, let's get an evil player. But we can also build AIs too. They have a thing called AI Studio for end users to create their own AIs. And this is gonna be in the metaverse as well. You can make them NPCs in different horizon worlds. It's going to be kind of a scary world very, very soon where friends are trying to distinguish the real person from the not real. Finally, the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta sunglasses were announced with nearly everything updated. And these are the first smart glasses that are built and shipped with Meta AI already included in them. So you can interact with Meta AI anywhere you go. So from checking how long to cook a steak on the grill, or if a pickleball lands in or out of bounces, or in or out of bounce, your glasses will be an instant change for how we interact with our world. So there's no longer needing to constantly pull out our phones because of how intuitive the Meta AI seems to be. You can instantly translate signs from one language to another, or ask the name or address of a building that you're standing in front of. And because the smart glasses can understand what you're asking them in real time, just by asking them a quick question like, how do I lower the bike seat on this bike that's in front of me? We've really moved into an age where information will be readily available in front of our own eyes without ever having the need to pull out a secondary device. You can even send photos directly from your glasses just by saying, hey Meta, send a photo to Matthew. The glasses instantly take the photo and instantly sends it to the end contact without ever having to touch your phone. They have five microphones spread around the glasses that allow you to record immersive audio when capturing video. Hands-free calling, of course, is also included with 50% higher max audio, and they've doubled the bass from the previous models. They're slimmer, they're sleeker, and they have an improved directional audio that prevents audio leakage, as we've seen in some of the previous inter iterations. They, uh, they still have the Wayfarer classic design and they have a new headliner design as well. And you can even get transparent uh, lenses or transparent uh, frames now. They have a transparent collection that comes in caramel, jeans, and rebel black. But of course, they still have the matte black and shiny black as the available options as well. And the charging case looks just like a standard glasses case. And it's surprisingly slim and it gives you 36 hours of use with the charging case itself. You can even live stream from these glasses, which is a unique way for the viewers to see what you're seeing in real time. A glasses icon pops up when you start a live stream on Facebook and on Instagram. And when you double click the glasses, it instantly swaps from your phone camera to the glasses camera. And while live, you can actually touch and hold on the side of the glasses and you can hear how many people are currently watching you live. And it does a quick readout of the most recent comments. The Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses launch on October 17th. They'll be in 15 countries and retail stores on the same day. And they're starting at $299 for the 32 gigabyte models. And you can actually pre-order them starting today. 
So talk about a whirlwind of fantastic new tech. This is going to change the world in the next month. What an exciting and ever-changing world that we're living in. That's going to do it for today in our recap of MetaConnect 2023. If you liked our episode, take a quick moment to like this video. Tell us about your opinion in the comments section down below. And of course, subscribe to stay up to date for more emerging technologies and business content. I do want to thank our sponsors, KingCan and XR. The future is XR, and if you're working in the XR world or you're looking to step into the future with XR, KingCan and XR is here to help bring your XR dreams into a reality. Regardless if you're developing your own XR application or if you're just looking for a help in hand to take an idea to the next level, King Cannon is here to help. Reach out to King Cannon XR by emailing them at inquiry at KingCannonXR.com. You can also find our podcast on social media as well at ETIB Podcast. And if you like this episode, like I said, like this episode, hit subscribe. Check out another one of these emerging technologies and business videos that's going to pop up above my screen here, or above my head here on YouTube. That's going to do it for today. I've been your host, Brock Riney. We're going to talk some more emerging tech next time. Bye, everybody.